Hello, I am Novel Mike, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge Mode. Uh, last time... Well, not last time, but off-camera I grinded quite a bit. Uh, Shinepok is now level 32. Start with you. Much better stats uh, all around. Attack and defense are great. Uh, it's special attack and special defense is actually... It's not great, but it's pretty... It's good. I'll take it for what it is. Um... And now has Confusion, Rock Throw, Psy Wave, which is weird because attack uh, with the Psychic Wave that with a varying intensity, that's why its power is, you know, nothing. Because it does a, a random amount, essentially. It might be good to use, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have kept it. And then it also learned Cosmic Power. It actually learned Fire Spin, but I overwrote Cosmic Power, or Fire Spin with Cosmic Power, because it raises defense and special defense, which... It already has good defensive stats, so I figured making those even higher makes it kind of a tank, which I didn't really have on my team before now, so that's working. I like it. Um, on top of that, uh, Lavin's still 32, Terra's still 33, almost 34. Uh, Zuli is now 32, uh, was a pain in the butt to level. Uh, <laughs> having to switch out a lot into Maku, or uh, not Makuhita, uh... Pummel, who is a Hariyama. That's it. Okay, I couldn't remember its name. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Zuli. Or, uh, Pummel. Uh, one learn miss, I said no to that, and then learn takedown. And I think that's it, because I already taught it fly. Uh, not doing super great, but eh. I mean, it hasn't evolved yet. Once it evolves, it'll be better. I might have put it back in the box for a little bit if it doesn't evolve soonish. I mean, I don't, I don't know when it evolves. Uh, Dormant's now 34. That's a level or two it gained. Uh, wanted to learn rollout. I, that tax is just way too low for that to be useful in my opinion. So, plus it locks you into it, and yeah, I just thought that was just a bad idea all around. And then Pummel went up to 34. I learned Smelling Salt, which... Powerful against paralyzed foes, but also heals them. I don't understand how that works. So... It was just a 60 power normal type move. I figured that was better than Bulk Up, which I've used zero times since I taught it to Pummel. And everything else is the same. And that's it! Uh, I think I'm going to put Zuli in the box for this, because I don't think Zuli is going to be very helpful here. And I'd rather have a Pokemon I could potentially lose and be okay with than Zuli. So, uh, you go over here. Move you over there. Um, who would I be okay with losing? Um, okay, so right now for ground, I have Terra. And I have Travic. Fire types, if I lose Lavanol, I have a Strength. Water types, I've got plenty of. I could lose Poison, probably still catch a Tenacruel at some point. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's probably the smartest thing to do. Everyone else is doing okay. I don't have anyone else anywhere else. I think I do have a couple Pokemon in the daycare, but that's not really gonna help me right now. Screech might be good eventually. I need to make a like a box that can you edit the boxes now? Yeah, name. I just put I don't think I can fit it all, but But Sacrifi? Sacrifi. Sacrifi for Sacrifice Box. Why not? Okay. Uh, so... You're probably gonna go in there. Sandy's probably gonna go in there. Might be good, but probably not. Uh, Lady Gold's probably gonna go in there. Because Golding kind of sucks. So does Seeking. Strip might be eventually good. Uh, let's... 
keep my good Pokemon down here. You're just an oddball. I'm putting all, like, the oddballs here, I guess. And just let the new Pokemon that I get caught just go at the top, I guess. Alright. I don't know why I wasted all that time doing that, but anyway. We have a gym to conquer. Okay, um... Shinebox really just a backup, because Rock Throw isn't that strong of a move. So I still think I'm going to have Dormant out front. Oh, and I need to uh, Terra uh, Ice Beam. Let's do that real quick. Ice Beam. Because that is good on flying. I use Mudslap more than I use Rollout. Yeah, I never use Rollout. Get rid of Rollout. An Ice Beam's just a generally a good move. That 95 base power is amazing. Even if it doesn't give uh, any kind of stab bonus for Terra. And I can always get another Ice Beam TM via money, so... Okay, so I did put... Uh, Dorman up front. Yeah, I did. Okay, so Dorman, Shinepok, and Terra are my three main, main three competitors here. Humble can probably do something if I absolutely need him to. Lavin's just kind of here and poises there. I should give Shinepok some kind of item. Let me see. I had the experience share on him for such a long time. I don't think I have anything to boost. Rock type moves. Maybe just a citrus berry? That'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Citrus berry. Okay. I don't like using my berries, but I'll do what I have to. Uh, is it... Oh, that's right. I don't know how this works. Is this a double battle right away? Okay, that's fine. We'll be fine. Behold the elegant battle style bird Pokemon. When Noah taught me personally, you can't beat me easily. Well, we'll see about that. They have six Pokemon, holy cow. Ooh, 27. The first one I fought was 30, so... Okay. Uh... You kill that. You... I should probably... Switch that. Uh, that. Okay. I see a lot of those, I get the feeling. Actually, does Winoa have an Altera? I remember that she does in the remake. I don't know if she does in Emerald. Let's switch this up target wise. That might be bad. Well, Rock should still work on her. Dragon doesn't resist rock. Or resist electric, but yeah, we should be fine. Just murdering these. Granted, I'm a lot higher level than I was expecting these Pokemon to be. I figured 32 would be pretty safe, but. Then again, these are just the gym trainers. I'm sure she's probably gonna have like. 32 to 35 or 36 or something like that. I hope it's not higher than... Well, no, it should be higher than that. I, I can't imagine her trainers would have Pokemon 10 levels higher. Also, Shinepok, with having being a rock type, was really easy to level once I got it to, like, 22-ish. I just went over to the field right next to Fortree, and I just kept fighting Lenones, and they could just not hurt it at all. Dragon level 35? That's a lot of HP. That's good. Dude, you're strong. I was beaten. Yes, you were. Okay. Uh. This way. This way. Uh. So this. Yeah. Another double battle. The double battle gym is the next one. There is no need for Noah, Winoa, our gym leader, to defeat you. 
I've got plenty. I've, I'm plenty good enough for you. Man, I cannot read today. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Hi, guys. Yeah, 29. Yeah, so... Sounds about right. Level-wise. When I saw 27s, I was worried that maybe I overleveled a little bit, but... Probably not. It's been such a long time since I grinded, I didn't even really have to grind much. It was just two Pokemon. So that's good. Oh, uh, Zatu. Zatu is Bird Psychic. It looks really cool. I would like to have one. I don't remember how good it is. There's Shine Pock level 33. Oh, Pelipper could be bad for Shine Pock. Uh, murder that quickly, and Rock Slide that. Dorman's speed is gonna probably really help in this gym. Nightshade does... Nightshade's another one of those moves that does a set amount of damage depending on what level you are. It's based on level, right? I think that's right. Need to heal Shinepock after this, but we're doing pretty good. Oh no, I lost! It was too much of a load for me to bear. Yeah, okay. Good job, guys. Also, did Shinepock not eat that berry? Didn't get lowered up, that's why. Okay. So Citrus Berry will heal him by 30 if needed. Which is good. You better know that there's all kind sorts of flying type Pokemon. You know that, right? And plus, the the benefit Shinepock has is being rock type, it resists. Uh, flying type moves already, but also since Shinepock is physically based rather than uh, special based, it, oh that did not do a lot. Um, why did that do so? Because it's neutral. Not paralyzed at least. But because of that, uh, flying type moves are physical as well, so that helps with resisting moves from flying types. I don't know what kind of Pokemon she's gonna have, though. I mean, probably... I mean, I'm seeing so many friggin' uh, Swablus. I, I'm just gonna assume she's got an Altera. How many Pokemon would she, would she have? Four? Or would she have five already? I don't know. Six gym? Four or five. I would not guess that it's any... Less than four? It could be five. I could be wrong. No. Wrong way. I see how this works. Wait. I did this wrong. There we go. Stupid puzzles. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, how are we on moves? Nine and ten? That's probably enough. Do I have a normal potion at all? I don't. Yeah, I don't feel good about starting a gym battle with without having all my PP and have everyone's health max and all that, so... Oh, boy. I'm getting nervous now. I haven't done a gym battle for a while, and last time Norman killed three of my Pokémon. So, she might have a Pelipper. If she has a Pelipper, she'll probably lead with it, I would guess. Since it's just a common Pokémon.
Dormant has the best advantage, because if she does have a Tropico or a Wingle, that would be bad for Shinepok being a rock type. Everything else will probably be good against Terra is a good backup. And Poise will be sacrificed if necessary. Alright! Let's do this! I am Winoa, the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. That's nice. Oh, she does have five. Okay. Starts with off with a Swablu. Yeah, I should have predicted that. Only 29? Oh, I may have overleveled. Didn't kill it in one hit, though. Uh... Since when can Swablu learn Mirror Move? Mine doesn't know that. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's bull. So, it happens to use Mirror Move. And, and it gets Spark Off, which does 4 damage, but does get the Paralyze off. Are you kidding me, game? Also, how can I teach my Swablu... Mirror move. Darn it. Come on, Dorbin. Kill it. It's just a Swablu. There you go. Critical hit. Get your revenge. What else you got? Oh, already. 33. Okay. That does scare me a bit. See what it does? Dragon Dance? Oh, that really scares me. That's attack and speed. Why does it know that at 33? Critical hit was only that much? Uh... Is this her strongest Pokemon? I am a bit concerned. Terra has Ice Beam. It's Dragon. That'd be quite effective. Boys... Okay, I need this to die. I need this to die, like, now. Please kill it, Altaria. Oh, no, it did that again. I should have switched in something else. Damn it. Oh, that's bad. Uh, if it keeps raising that, I can't supersonic. Earthquake! Its attack is raised twice. And it has Earthquake. Tara, how good is your defense? 64 isn't terrible, but... Yeah, it's a good thing I got Dormant out of there. That would have one-shot. Wait, Shinepok does have Levitate. I just don't know that it could get the kill. Ice Beam would kill it, for sure. Terra's special attack isn't that high, but it's not bad either. Oh, boy. It's gonna go first, no matter what I do. Okay, it's done Dragon Dance and then Earthquake, right? What else did it... Did it use anything else? I'm terrified of sending Terra out against this thing. Earthquake. 
Earthquake is so strong, it could one-shot her. Yeah, I think... I think banking on the Levitate is probably the best idea. Oh, please don't have something like stupid like Surf. Or just raise your attack one more time while I throw rocks at you? Dragon... Okay, that's that's good. As long as Terra... Your Shinepok kills it right now. You have to kill it now, Shinepok! Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, it's... Does that heal it so... Hold up. Only an Orion. No, it's gonna heal. It's gonna... Ah, uh, bloody hell. Do I try to switch into Terra? Or do I just bank on Shinepok? If its attack gets any higher, I, I can't outlive it. It's gotta heal, right? It's gotta heal. But if I'm wrong, Shinepok is... Er, Terra's probably dead. No? Okay. Doctor. Oh, okay. That's fine, yes! Keep... Oh, thank god the AI is stupid. That could have been disastrous. Oh. No! Shinepok, what are you doing? How could you miss? Okay, it's just raising its sets. Shinepok, do not miss. <sighs> that was terrifying. Dormant 36. What else do you have? Oh, that's bad for Shinepok. Only 29. Was Altaria its biggest Pokemon then? Did it go right to its strongest right after the Swablu died? Um. Rock throw? What is that? Solar Beam? Oh no. Uh. Who resists Solar Beam? Uh. Wait, did Shinepok go f how how low is it? I don't remember Shinepok went first. Oh my god, I gotta pay better attention. Lava might be able to eat a solar beam. That's a lot of oh boy. Who's got the special best special defense right now? Special defense 75, 52. Yeah, okay, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be Dorman. Jesus! Well, for for sure, they're using better moves now. That's for Jesus. Oh my God, that's a lot. Spark. Uh, hang in there, dorm. Okay, good. Not very effective. It does resist. <sighs> yes, paralyze the stupid thing. Go away, banana beard. Oh God, it still has two more Pokemon too. What else do you got? Dorman's ready for you. Skarmory? Okay, that's fine. Steel Wing? Yeah, resist Steel, so... Ah, oh, come on, Dorman! Stop that. Shine Park would not do good against that. Good. Yes, do that. else do you have? Oh. Really? You're gonna end with a Pelipper? Murder it. Aw, oh, come on! That will not save you. And hey, Dorman's paralyzed anyway. Kill it. Only Water Gun. Really? That's the move you went with. I've never before have I seen the trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. $3,300! Yay! As you received the feather badge from Winoa! Yay! <sighs> with the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades will obey your every command. 
You will also be able to use HM outside of battle, and this is a gift for me. TM4, what is that? Aer oh, aerial ace, okay. It's speed no Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Thanks, bye. That could have gone a lot worse. I was higher level than I needed to. I did lose poise though, but I can always get another uh, tenna. I can get a tenna cruel later, I believe, so that's not that big of a deal. Hey, Scott. Just as I thought you won at Fortree Gym, your strength, perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan of me, I'll be cheering you from the sidelines, keep up the brick alert. I don't want to look here from you, Scott. Ugh. It does suck to lose poise, because I think Tenno Cruel is a good Pokemon, but since it's most likely I can get one later, that was probably the most acceptable loss out of any of the Pokemon I currently have. Whew. That was terrifying. Get Zuli back here. And release. Thank you, Poise. I appreciate your service. And then these three. Yeah. I probably should have evolved. Yeah, I should evolve Screech before I try to get rid of it. Just put you down here with the rest. Uh. Trish? Yeah, what about Trish? Shanbok kind of fills out my team pretty darn well. I have flying, soon to be flying dragon if I can get evolved. I don't know when it evolves, so... I hope it's not 50. It's gonna... It, it can't be, right? It would have a middle stage if it did. Ugh. Uh, I got fighting already? Like, that's the problem. Breloom is grass fighting. I don't know if Hariyama would be better or not, but I, the grass typing does not help Trish at all. In fact, it hurts her, because, yeah, I guess I'll leave Trish for now. Everybody else is doing pretty good. Hang in there, Trish. Keep these guys in the box busy. And yeah. Okay, let's heal. Okay, um, well, let's get. We have the freedom to fly now, so that's good. The sixth badge is gotten. We are. Able to now travel to the next route. We probably could have done that before. I probably should have checked what's over there first. But anyway, next time we will continue on our way. Uh, heading towards... So where, where am I going? Let's check that real quick before we end this episode. Like, I know it's 128 and there's the Scorched Slab. Which I did check there. I could not find anything no matter what I did. So I'm assuming you can just not catch anything at the Scorched sl Slab, which is weird because I don't remember that being a thing in any of the other games, but I don't know. So I, I already caught something, or I failed to catch something on something Group 120. So we got, wait, the Safari Zonus? Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna have, okay, Lilicove. What is Lilicove? I know Moss Deep is where the seventh gym is. Is that the department store one? Maybe they have TMs there. Okay, so next time we will travel down Route 120, 121. We can actually go here. There's Mount Pryor. I'll probably have to do that soon. 122, 123. I've been to 123. I haven't caught anything there, so... Okay, we got some options. Plus, we can fly now, so we can go back to old places, which is awesome. I need to go check out the daycare, but we will do that next time. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. The fight with Winoa was rough. I didn't expect her to have Earthquake, or the Altaria to have Earthquake at that time. Uh, I know it now, obviously, because when I was talking about it before, I'd already watched these episodes, but 
Oh my god, that is a scary move for her to have. And then on top of that, her Altaria also had Dragon Dance. That is ridiculous for the fifth gem. Like, Dragon Dance combined with other moves can sweep teams. And that's what I was afraid was about to happen. That's why I was absolutely terrified of this thing. But thankfully, AI was stupid. Didn't even try to attack Shinepok. Just wanted to get its stats higher and higher. So it could sweep eventually. And uh, thankfully, that didn't happen. So Terra... I, I don't know if, if I would have used Terra if Terra would have died there because the main reason it wasn't using Earthquake was because it knew it wasn't going to be able to work on Shinepok. So I don't know what the AI I would have done if it could have because one of those might have been able to kill Terra and that would have been really bad there. But we did lose Poise in the process of all this. So Rip Poise, unfortunately, uh, died as a sacrifice, but better Poise than anyone else I had. So anyway, I'm Noble Mike. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.